Greetings, welcome back to Fable 3. Let's visit our wonderful sunset house. God damn it, there's some hair, some loose hair on my face and I can't get it out. Ah, damn it. Okay, I'm fine, don't worry. I'll suffer in silence. If you are reading this, then the house has returned somehow. I fear this might happen, so before I burnt it down, I left a note for those that might follow. Then, as the house burned, I realized the note would burn too, so I wrote a second one. But when I went to place that note, I found the first one untouched. So I had to write a third one to explain all of that, which is this one. But the point is, the house is cursed by an entity of pure evil and malice. It is the stuff of nightmares. So whatever you do, do not sleep here. You've been warned. So we're definitely gonna sleep here at some point. So, no, it's locked. I think we'll sleep here right away. Come on! It's so beautiful. <laughs> yeah. Sleep until morning for a little doggy. And here we are. Hello! Do you like playing games? I love playing games. Maybe if you like playing games too, we can be super best friends. Let's play chess. Chesty, your friendly chess. P.S. I like killing people too. It's so much fun, isn't it? Greet the chesty. <laughs> the, 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 the devil chest. Okay, let's go one, because I don't know how he can attack. How do... Usually pawns like that, yeah, attack. What? Okay, so I get either move or attack. Okay, okay, see. Can I attack him? So no matter what I do, he will kill my pawn. I, this is a, a horrible start already. Okay, but he moved his bishop, so... Can I just move forward? Nope. And this is the king. And this is knight. Okay. Oh my, that's horrible indeed, but I think we'll be able to kill him with our... What? Hey! Why did I lose there? Chesty? I think we can be super best friends, but this game is stupid. There are so many rules. Let's play a new game. I hope you will like it because I made it up myself. I call it Justice Chess. Just see. Yeah. You've got to love Justice Chess. I think I destroyed my one of mine. Oh no, I didn't. Isn't Chesty's Chess the funniest game ever? Now that we're super best friends, I think I can trust you with a secret. All my other friends are dead and won't play anymore. Promise you won't tell. Now let's play some more, Chesty. Okay, come here. Get closer. <laughs> Oh, something's upgraded! 
Shrek the Mage. Right, the Quester. Wait, how did I get Quester here? Oh, okay, we have 14 health potions now. Oh! You really like my game, don't you? Please say you really like it. It would make me so sad if you didn't like it because you're breaking all my toys and that is not a very nice thing to do to a super best friend. But it's okay. I have more. Chesty. Bring it on. Come on. That's our first flourish! <laughs> Roll flourish kill. Dear super best friend, how would you like it if I came to your house and played with your toys and broke all your toys and then you had no toys left? It's alright, I'm just messing with you. I like it when my toys break. Chesty. Yes, hit each other. Thank you. You are the bestest super best friend a chest could ever hope for. That's why I'm going to give you a present. My house! You can sleep here and kill stuff and play just whenever you want. Love, Chesty. Thank you. Wasn't so bad of a curse. But if I remember correctly, it's not all to this house. Yeah, now we have another door, door open. Okay, let's see. I think it was somewhere here. Wait. It's on the right side of the night. Okay. Oh. Right. Now the other side. Somewhere around here. Now it is right here. Another one? Oh. Where's my chest? Wait, wait a second. Okay, there's no chest anymore. Everything slid up. So it was a trap. Not very effective since we can get just get out of here. Can I shoot it? No, I don't think this is what we are here for. Oh, and a note? Yes. Shoot the difference. Okay, so let's get back to the burned room and let's look very carefully. I'm gonna forget it, so there's the bust, statue, piano, and ball, chest, statue, piano, ball. And nothing on the walls, right? No, there's no paintings, nothing, mainly because this place is all burnt. But let's remember dust, statue, piano, ball. Or the other way around. Oh my god, wait. This is wrong. 
the bust was different. Somewhere else. It wasn't here. Is this difference? Okay. Really? Don't tempt me like that. Simon's shotgun. Lieutenant Simon's carried the shotgun with him at all times and it saved his life on many occasions. Okay. See so what is there anything else? Anything different in the bedroom? There definitely is. I think I see chesty around here. Yeah. Well, not the chesty, but you know what I mean. Short ponytail, okay. And something else? Chess. I wonder what happens when we shoot the ball in burnt room. Because we still have one door left to open. Where is it? Right here. It did open the door. I don't get why it's called sh sh difference. Everything was different in that room. Sultan potion and a couple of guild seals. I think we're done. Perfume. Okay, I'm pretty sure we're done with this place. Goodbye, Mr. Skeleton. Okay, can we now get... I don't know, I think it will be quicker if we get... If we hit... No, actually... Oh, no, I didn't press A. Can I go do fast travel? The place we need to be, please. Take me back to where I was. Where the hell am I? Really? Oh no, I have to go through all of that. Oh god damn it. Okay, actually I think it would be faster going from Sunset House to the Morning Wood than teleporting In the morning wood. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, it will be faster like that. Uh, but let's just run through. Because we're not here for the fight. And I don't remember how to get to the, to the village. So be patient. Okay, I think we're actually on the right track. Yes. Whoa, I'm amazing. And we're there. That's very, very, very nice. Okay, so can I buy some of your houses? And leave you homeless? Or you can always rent it from me. Oh, yes. They are pretty cheap as well. What? Dicky spot? I don't know what I tried to say there. Man, where is it? Of course. Because otherwise you wouldn't sell them. Emerald. You are living in a small fortune. No, you won't. Oh, you're welcome. 
gonna buy all your okay not all at once but everything you could possibly need and much more right? oh there's a house a treasure yes here's a treasure I wanna check the other house it has to be away for some reason maybe it's like that because no one wants it what is it? Okay, Dean the Echo Warrior. Open up. Just what I wanted. Eish. You're welcome back anytime. It's cool. There's no one there. I don't think there's anything interesting in there either. What a shame. Okay, so first of all, let's check out the source I'm not supposed to go in thank you then we'll go looking for Walter we will get to him eventually don't you worry about that some more gold nah, I don't want to buy that house <laughs> just yet no. ah there's still where are you here you are Oh, there's Jesse. It's easier once you get used to you know, waiting for them to speak. Nice <laughs> mercenary jacket. I think we have that one ready. Well, we had to use one. One doesn't make real sense to me. And we are in Power Store Industrial. Oh, after the loading screen, of course. Oh, we need to find some. We need to find some girl and have baby, and then bring we baby to the, into the, of the demon door. And buried somewhere beneath it all are the people Logan has left behind. What the hell? Why did it cut off like that? Where is he? Oh, he's there. Maybe that's why it. And play that. Give me a second. Okay, thank you. Shouldn't you be talking, Walter? Okay, I'm terribly sorry about that. I think he should be. You can see oh. for yourself what life outside the castle is like: poverty, hunger, disease. Wouldn't you want to rebel against it all? I suppose. You won't see too many kids running around here. Most you serious? Have no choice but to work. It's either that or begging. Give me a second. You know whether we can find something interesting in the factory? I don't think so. Oh, it's somewhere upstairs. There is a silver key. Okay. Pull. Come on, pull it. Okay, there's no lever around here. There's another here. Can I get... Can I get... No, really? I am can't get... Oh, wait a second, there's another one. Happened? Really? What happened? Oh, that one's off now.
Now we can go... Hell, if I know how. Can we use those, this one again? Yes. Come on. Come on! Thank you! God damn it. Yes, it's open now. No, it's not. And what the will this one do? <laughs> I think I'm missing one lever. Because that one now deactivates this. And this one, did we use it? Oh my, I didn't. Okay. Now the way f close there is off, but this one's on. Okay, I'll, we'll be just using the ones we have. So I guess now it's this one. The way is clear. Yes. Thank you. Can I get down? No. Of course not. Go the long way around. Well, we don't have, we didn't have to go all the way around, but God damn it! Come on, come on! Thank you. Now, where, where you were saying something? Give me a second. Life on the street isn't easy. Not that you think. There's nothing here. Anything? Those nooks? It doesn't look like it. Don't hear any gnomes either. Walter? Walter? There you are. Don't run away. Somewhere here. Come on! I can't pull out my gun! Oh. You are citizens of Albion. Its noble soil runs through your veins. Its long history is your own history. But this kingdom does not exist to support you or to feed you. It is not a fruit to be picked off the ground, or a tree whose shade will protect you unconditionally. This land of ours demands your sweat. It demands your labor. And it demands your sacrifice. We are entering an epoch full of opportunities, but full of peril too. Albion needs you to fight with every breath and work with every heartbeat. It will make demands of you, and you will obey them, because you are citizens of Albion. You will never defy its wishes, and you will never question its intent. You will give every ounce of strength, and you will offer your very lives if it asks for them. And even then, you will never cease to be. As long as Albion lives, then so will you live too. I hate you, little gnome. You're safe for now. I'll come back and I'll find you and I'll kill you. He was a twit, just like you. Okay. Uh, again, will you were saying something? No? Okay. <gasps> okay, we'll help the old... The old guy. The guy dig up his garden, I guess. I hate a, ca a cat.
Hey, hey Walter? Yeah? Us like animals. We're not gonna take it anymore. There's only one thing for it. We have to stand up to Reaver. But lying down is so much easier than standing up. My dear friends, in order to raise morale, I am offering prizes to the most deserving workers. The rules that will govern what I like to call the Reaver Team Spirit Award are these. Firstly, any worker that so much as murmurs another complaint will be cut. Secondly, any worker who takes more than a three-second break will be shot. Thirdly, any worker who breaks any other rules I have yet to formulate will, yes, you guessed it, be shot. I return to work now. As you know, I'm a generous man and likely to start handing out prizes right away. So go on, shoo, be off with you. Chop, chop. That's why we're here. That's why Albion needs you. Your brother must have been out of his mind when he handed control of Industrial to Weaver. He should go on. It's time you met the Bowerstone Resistance. Lead the way. No, really, I don't know where we are going. So, really? Walter, lead the way. Please. Oh, I hate you. I hate you sometimes. So, goddamn much. Can I now? I, I really want. To equip my rifle and I cannot Walter Walter I really don't remember where we're supposed to go I remember it being somewhere Walter, god damn it. Keep on your work and I'm gonna shoot you instead. I like you and I I was really sad when you died, but that doesn't mean you not helping is gonna make it any easier any harder for me to kill I think this is here this should be the place. somewhere beyond this door is the base of the Bowerstone resistance ready when you are yeah not we're not here thanks to you <sighs> I really love how much time we're spending in caves and sewers these days no really I should warn you I don't know what kind of reception we'll get I know their leader well enough but it was never safe for me to come down and meet the rest of them, and they're not exactly the most trusting of people. Oh well, we'll see. Hello! Hello! Maybe we've got the wrong place. Let's, um, go. Get out! Tell your friend that. It's all right. Just do as he says. Who are you? What are you doing here? I'm Walter, and this is... Well, that really doesn't matter right now. We're here to speak with Paige. I say we shoot. Listen, we're on your side. Just hear us out. We don't make deals with spies. Shoot! Wait! Put your weapons down. I thought I gave the orders around here, kid. Sorry, Paige. Got to be carried away. Walter, glad you're all right. And I'm glad you came in when you did. I wasn't exactly expecting you. 
Let's talk somewhere a bit more private. Okay, don't mind me. I'll take care of myself. Maybe I'll find some. God damn it! But I, well, we ended up leaving the castle earlier than I thought. I heard. Pity. Your messages were always useful. I can offer you something better. Yes, wait for me. We're talking about your plan. Well, I'll loot. The resistance <laughs> place. Hmm. Okay, thank you, Doggy. Okay, we don't have much time because I have to end it soon. But we'll find it. But okay, I don't think I can wait for you to get unstuck, Doggy. So hurry up. Come on. Thank you. And the three hundred gold. Ah, man. Where are you? Is that a book I can pick up? No, I always get. Is there something I can pick up? Please stop making things look like I can get them. Okay, and what do we have here? This looks like a canteen. Really like the books in oh I said before that we soldiers told these stories so as not to miss home. But in truth I have never felt the sense of that word in any place I have visited, certainly not in Gunk. Yet there it was I was raised by my shopkeeping parents, who through no fault of their own often struggled to keep other things such as shoes on our feet and food on our table. This being the case, my three elder brothers and I had no recourse but to find other sources of sustenance, money and entertainment. Despite my small hands, I was never the equal of my siblings in what constituted the main form of income for all Finns under the age of 15, the picking of pockets. It is possible that even then, though barely eight years old, I had begun to form some sort of moral objection to such activities. Instead, I found my calling as a street performer, standing in the town square telling jokes and falling over repeatedly. Did you hear about the man who went through a balmarine forest and messed up his trousers? I would ask the audience. No, they would reply. He said with beans like that, who needs enemas? <laughs> all right, so it wasn't sophisticated. I was only a child after all, but at least it was honest. Or it would have been had my brothers not taken the opportunity, afforded to them by the villagers' uncouth laughter, to rob them blind. All this accidental aiding and abetting won me the greatest gift I had ever received. For my 11th birthday, my criminal siblings bought me a beautiful pellet gun. And thus it was I found my second talent, a rather surprising accuracy with firearms. It was not long before this ability was put to good use. My brothers set up a fair booth in which they challenged all comers to pit their target practice skills against young Ben. Having fleeced all the local clods, we soon had to rely on traders, passers-by and occasional tools of neighbouring villages, out of which we would more often than not be run out by the authorities. Okay, I wonder when I missed the first part of the story. I'd like you to meet. I know who he is. I thought you'd know better than to bring the prince here. He's not just a prince. He's a hero. Great. Give him a medal. No, I mean he's a hero. Like his father. Really? It doesn't change anything. Your brother is the reason we live underground. He's the reason we fight. How do we know he's any better? Let him prove it. 
It's not just me he needs to convince. The people of this city need someone they can believe in. Prove to them that they should follow you, then we'll talk. For now, I have work to do. Looks like you have work to do, too. You have a whole city to inspire. Okay. I think it shows up more often than it should. Because, you know, we haven't achieved anything. So, yeah. Today you have met the true voice of the people of this city. It is imperative that you win Paige and her resistance movement to your cause. And just as important that you prove to Bowerstone that you can be its rightful ruler. Okay. I guess this is where it ends. For now. Force push. No, I don't want that one. Waiting for the blade storm. But okay. But oh well. We'll end this part here. Stay safe. Wait. Stay alive and see you soon.